guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are testing out the famous Wet n Wild foundation. Not the original one, it's the Wet n Wild Dewy Photo Finish Foundation. And it looks like this. It looks exactly like the Photo Finish Foundation, the original one, the matte one. Does it work for oily skin? So stay tuned to find out. when this foundation came out because I love the matte version of this photo finish. This is like one of my favorite, favorite drugstore foundation. I think it's a favorite for a lot of people out there. They love this foundation. I wanted to see what the dewy finish was all about. So I was curious because I have oily skin, I have oily combination skin, but as I've been aging, I've learned to appreciate the dewy finish on the face, like kind of like that fresh look. I sometimes like that look, especially for my under eyes. And so I wanted to see if this was gonna be something that I would really enjoy. Guys, it's like 80 plus degrees here in California. I'm sweating here with the lights on. Hopefully I don't turn into an oily mess with this dewy foundation. But back to the photo finish foundation. Oh my gosh, guys. I apologize for calling this the photo finish foundation. I just want to correct myself right now. This is the wet and wild photo focus, not photo finish foundation. To start off, you know me, my channel is a review channel. You guys come here to learn more about the product, see if it works. If you have oily to combination skin like myself, this is where we find out whether certain products work for us, right? I have used this several times already. When it comes to reviewing products, I'm always testing them out weeks in advance. So I've had a chance to really use this quite a few times and with quite a few different primers and skincare, I found that this product works really well with a lot of the existing products that I already use on my skin. All kinds of moisturizers, um, moisturizers with SPF, which is what I prefer. I've used it with a mattifying primer, which is what I've used today, um, but I've also used it with a pore filling primer and it's worked well with all of those types of products. I didn't see it break up on me today I applied the foundation and I'm gonna show you guys how I applied it this left side right here I used a sponge basically I love this sponge it doesn't soak up product it's really soft bouncy you know close to the beauty blender which we all know I did a really good job at applying the foundation on this side of the face I also use one of my favorite foundation brushes by it cosmetics I use this um, to apply it on the right side of my face I was able to see a comparison now first off surprisingly enough brush or sponge they apply very very well they apply nicely and evenly as far as coverage goes I feel like we didn't lose any product whether you use the sponge or the brush, which is surprising because usually a sponge would soak up the product and this side would go a little bit more sheer. As far as coverage goes, they looked exactly the same whether I used the sponge or the brush. Now, when I look a little bit more closely, the finish, I feel like the sponge has a more airbrush finish. So I love that look a little bit more. So in the end, I finished off my face with a second layer using the sponge. Actually, let's go ahead and talk about this foundation. It is $6.49. It has 20 shades. It's cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free and talc-free. So great product to start off because not every vegan product can say they're cruelty-free. This combination together, we know it's good for the environment. We know that it's natural and that there are no animal byproducts inside this foundation. So that's good, especially for those of you who have sensitive skin. I didn't see this break me out at all. My skin wasn't irritated. I didn't feel any kind of reaction, just like the matte version of this foundation. The claims for the Dewy foundation is that it is lightweight, it's medium to full coverage, um, it's a buildable coverage, and it gives you this hydrating glowy skin. Yes, it feels lightweight. It feels definitely more lightweight 
than the wet and wild matte foundation when you put the matte foundation on you immediately know you're putting a full coverage foundation but this one is more buildable the dewy one which is not bad because some days you just want a light coverage especially when you have you know great skin that day unfortunately for me this week is that time of the month and and acne is always going to be a challenge for me and so i had to do two coats of this to get the full coverage that i want the second layer looked good it didn't look cakey at all <sighs> okay i'm back another hour or two has gone by so i've had this face on for about three hours a good three hours or more from far away it's looking really good closer it's looking like it's sitting on top of the skin definitely i feel like when you don't have good skin underneath makeup doesn't look as nice um i truly believe that with having a flawless base underneath overall it hasn't been a good week for me i haven't been feeling well normally i film weeks in advance and i'm lucky if i can actually get this video up on time before wednesday so we'll see how it goes i do have a giveaway so i'd like you guys to go ahead and watch this video here or this video right here to enter if you watch both and enter in both you get two entries for the giveaway it's a face story mask bundle and so hopefully you guys will check those two videos out the other days that i've had this foundation on it looked really flawless really nice and kind of healthy looking skin back to what i was talking about is it hydrating right it that's one of the claims i think my answer to that is no looking at my skin right now it looks like more of a natural finish and that's coming from someone who has very oily skin for those of you who have dry skin or normal to dry skin i am almost certain that you will not be satisfied or you're not going to be considering this as a dewy finish um, if anything, it's gonna look like a natural finish. There is some hydrating qualities because when you put it on, it feels very cooling to the face. It's like you're putting water on the face, so it feels good to have it on. But for my normal to dry skin gals out there, you might wanna have a really good moisturizer underneath this foundation to begin with. And I'm not saying that this is not gonna be good for people with dry skin. It's not gonna give you kind of like that hydration or glowy or luminous finish that it's claiming to do. So it's not dewy at all, like the name says on the bottle. Looking at the first five ingredients, they they both have very different ingredient lists so that's something to consider but both of them contain dimethicone now dimethicone is present in a lot of makeup products and if you have sensitive skin it could clog up those pores but dimethicone is not just present in drugstore foundations or makeup it's present in high-end makeup as well um, it hasn't break me out I mean I've used this so many times Granted, I do have, you know, something going on right now, which I'm not happy about. Um, it's my fault. I picked at it. It got worse. Everyone tells us not to pick at acne, but it's so hard not to. <laughs> One of the distinct difference that I noticed is the scent. Now, the mattifying one smells like paint. I mean, straight up paint. Now, this year, they changed it up and it smells so good it just gives you a nice fresh scent and the best way i could describe the scent is like after you've had a nice bath or shower that kind of thing so it's not overpowering and the scent doesn't linger at all the same goes with the mattifying one the scent is strong at first but it doesn't linger so next question is is it a lasting foundation now I'm gonna show you a picture or maybe I'll check in later at the four hour mark hey guys again this is the six hour check-in and I'm not gonna lie I'm looking a little dewy but only on my t-zone so that's expected and actually it's been six hours especially for a foundation that claims to be dewy i expected as much 
um, but it still looks really, really good all over the face. It hasn't broken up on me. It doesn't look cakey. It looks really good, like just a healthy glow and none of my makeup has rubbed off. So I'm gonna just powder my T-zone because that's what I would normally do when I get this oily. Now that the shine is gone, it still looks beautiful. Ignore the gigantic volcano on my face. And what I love the most is that it doesn't look cakey around my pimple. Can you guys tell? Wait, let me look at it first. It looks really good. It's not creasing or accumulating around the corners of my acne. It looks like it's covering it nicely, so I'm not complaining. Definitely stays put. Um, it is long lasting. It's not claiming to be like a 24 hour coverage foundation, but I've noticed that at least at the six hour mark, it looked really good. It stayed put. Right now it's at three to four hours. It's looking really good on my skin. It hasn't broken up on me. It doesn't break apart. And and I'm so excited that it doesn't break apart around my blemish areas. I love that it's hydrating in that way because normally when I have blemishes or acne, the mattifying foundations tend to kind of take up around the acne. I would say that this would definitely last me a good eight hours. And that's a lot coming from me because my face eats up makeup. I feel like longevity wise and the wear time for this foundation is really, really good. To answer the question that I had at the very beginning, is it good for oily skin? Yes, I give it a two thumbs up. Definitely great for oily skin, folks, because I feel like it doesn't make me look like an oily mess at the end of the day. It gives me a nice natural finish, maybe a little bit more glowy than usual, but I don't mind it. Great for acne prone skin. If you have sensitive skin, it's great, at least for my experience. If you're looking for a full coverage, long lasting foundation, this is a good alternative. And because this product is so flexible and it works with a lot of different skincare and makeup products underneath it, I feel like, you know, you won't have any issues with it at all. I love that it worked for me. I love that it worked for my oily skin. I hope this works out for you guys. This foundation is a definite plus. I highly, highly recommend this foundation. And I love the Mount Foundation just as much. But if I were to compare, I think, I think, I love this a little bit more because I'm not the most full coverage type of person. And I feel like this is slightly, slightly less full coverage than the mattifying foundation. So definitely something to think about. If anything, the matte foundation will be my summer foundation and the dewy one will be my winter foundation. So not bad for $6.49. What a steal. Yeah, so I'm glad that this ended on a positive note. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you are new here, I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews. So stick around, join the family. You'll definitely learn something from this channel. It's not gonna waste your time. Also, comment down below if you've tried this new Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. Let me know how it worked out for you or let me know what other makeup product that you'd like me to test and review for you. I will gladly do it. And as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye!